All right, guys, this is my new Pelican Catch Power 100. It's new to me. I purchased it used. I'm going to show you a few things I absolutely love about this boat and a couple things I can't stand about it as well. But first, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because my next video is going to be a video showing you my kayak setup, how I rig this kayak out for every time I go out onto Lake St. Clair. All right, starting off at the back of the boat, you have this amazing transom. It's one of the best things about this kayak. It's got a nice lip on the back of it, as well as a nice lip on the front of it. So if you put a Minn Kota or some other type of trolling motor on it, you are not gonna lose that trolling motor at all, guys. Again, this is one of the best things about this kayak. Also on the back of the boat, you have two very nice, very sturdy handles for transporting this boat wherever you may need to take it. My last kayak had flimsy little types of handles that I couldn't stand, so having something like this is very, very nice. Well, we started off with two very nice things. Let's talk about something that absolutely sucks on this boat, and that would be the drain plug. Pelican drain plugs are notorious for being absolute pieces of crap. If they don't work like this one doesn't, it will not stay down. They're just broken like this one is. Uh, I was working on this one, it fell into the boat, and so now my drain plug is a piece of duct tape until I get a new one. In fact, I may not even buy a new one. I may just leave the duct tape on there because, well, it's better than a Pelican drain plug. Now, looking at the back of the boat, we have a tunnel hole design. This makes it a very stable boat for less than 10 feet long. However, this design does make it a little bit slower should you need to paddle anywhere. Coming around the side of the boat, you can see they have the four flush mounted rod holders. As you can see, I purchased this used and these two are broken and a reason I think these things break is because the material made for the hole it's not that great guys it's very very flimsy when I go to tie this thing onto the top of my car it really bends around the rack of my vehicle so when a rod or something is in here it puts since it is so flimsy it puts a lot of pressure on this and I can see that's why it broke I couldn't understand how the guy I bought this off of could have broke two of them but now I know it's because the material of the of the hole is just not that great it allows a lot of movement and as you can see it can crack moving more towards the side you have this nice handle on the side of here and this handle doubles as a track mount i think this is about a 15 inch track mount that you get right here and you get another track mount in the front and it's the same on both sides you have a track mount over there and another 15 inch handle slash track mount on the other side while these are nice i wish these were a little bit longer maybe out to about here maybe double the length but whatever they work and because you have two rails on each side, I actually have plenty of room when I'm out on the water. All right, guys, looking into the boat now, we have this very nice built-in, non-slip carpeted mat on the deck. I think it looks really sharp. It's also got a built-in ruler over here. Each one of these is an inch, and then these are half inches right here. I've already used that a couple times when I forgot to bring my board out with me to measure fish. Very, very nice design on this Pelican. That's a big thumbs up there. Also inside of the boat, as we look inside, you have one, two, three scupper holes. This one I have my fish finder going down into it. And yes, my transducer for my fish finder is held on by a pencil. That's right, a pencil. But I'll show you more about that in the next video, the kayak setup video for this Pelican Catch Fire 100. So again, make sure you subscribe for that, guys. All right, guys, and one of the best features, if not the best feature, on this kayak would be the Ergo 360 seat that comes with it. This thing is very nice. It's padded on the bottom here. It's padded up on the top. It's very comfortable. It spins effortlessly. It makes no noise or anything like that. Also, this seat is on a track, so if you need to slide this a little bit forward, a little bit backwards, you can do that. And then when you get it where you like, you just tighten in these four little bolts that are on the side over here. And that's all you need to do. Very comfortable. The only thing I will say about the seat is, like I said, I bought it used, and the strap, as you can see, it's broken. The buckle is broken, and I've read a few other reviews on this kayak where mostly bigger people, they said, have had issues with these buckles and broke them so i am going to repair that at some other time but for now the one strap has been holding up good enough when i go out fishing but that's a bummer for sure all right staying inside the boat on both sides left and right you have these nice straps i found these very nice for putting plano boxes right up in here you also have two spots for cup holders you have one right here you just pull that back you put your cup here you got another one right here or a bottle works out really fantastic 
and you have another little spot kind of right here where you can put something else again more tackle boxes whatever you want this thing has so much storage and in the front you have some footrests up here you got one on each side obviously because you have two feet i hope Bruh. and in the front here the battery box you can also rest your feet up on here that doesn't affect the box at all whatsoever now let's look inside the battery box and see what we got here you got a little rubber mechanism here to unlatch it and then you lift it up and in here you have a pre-wired system for your battery power to your trolling motor guys so like i said it's all pre-wired it goes into here and then it comes out the back right here and it has a special plug a special adapter that you put on your trolling motor you just plug it in and you're good to go that's all you need to do you put your battery on the front you plug it in you're good to go i absolutely love that system i hope nothing goes wrong with it because i have a lot of work to do trying to figure that all out if there is but for now i love it in the front you got a dry storage hatch this thing it's okay it's an eight inch dry storage hatch i took the bag out of it one thing i've noticed is that when i do with the bag in here it never really stays completely dry so i wouldn't really count on that for keeping anything dry it's nice to be able to have access into the boat if you need to get in there but as far as dry storage all i'm going to really do with that is i may put the bag back in there put the registration for the boat in there in a ziploc bag and be done with it i can't think of anything else i'd really want to put inside of that and once you get your battery in there it closes very easy with that strap moving to the front of the kayak you have another very nice sturdy handle in the front like i said that's very important on a kayak and they did well on those and then also in the front you have this nice area where if you want to put this thing on a trailer you can attach your clip to it pull it up on your trailer or if you need a tow out on the water so you run out of battery another boat's going to tow you around that would be a great spot to put a tow rope on and get towed out of there all right guys so overall do i recommend the pelican catch power 100 the answer would be yes it has so many nice built-in features the built-in wiring that goes back to your trolling motor the nice carpeted deck wide open deck with the ruler built in that's a nice feature again the 360 seat the number one thing i love about this kayak it's really great guys i've had a lot of fun fishing on this and again make sure you're subscribed because the next video guys i'm going to see you i'm going to talk about how i set up this kayak how i rig it all out see you next time